right now, Rome, before we get into our top eight moments breakdown from Tales of the Empire, a little spoiler warning for you. Hey, if you missed it, make sure to check out our review and episode rankings breakdown at the end of this video. Tales of the Empire has been unleashed unto the world, and while it may not have hit as hard narratively as Tales of the Jedi, it still offered up some interesting Imperial content packaged in what have to be the most amazing looking animated Star Wars visuals of all time. Did you see the dirt particles, people? Anyway, there are eight top moments that really stood out in this series, and here they are. At number one is Grievous being Grievous. From his Night Sister impaling debut to his taunting of Morgan after he killed her mother, this guy is pure Star Wars evil. It was great to see this cyborg lunatic again to be reminded of the tears he inflicted on his foes. He looked better than ever and really popped during his fight scene with Morgan's mom. Every Grievous appearance trope was checked from his spinning blade trick to his brand of smack talking complete with garbled phlegmy robot voice. This dude is a Star Wars villain legend. Up next is the lore nugget that Morgan Elsbeth was responsible for the TIE Defender design that Thrawn championed in Star Wars Rebels and wanted the Empire to invest in over the Death Star. Why you may ask? Well because I love when lore gets backfilled into Star Wars to help better connect the narrative dots to existing content. Learning how Palion helped Thrawn recruit and test her just helped flesh out what we know about all three and their bond during the Mandoverse era. Moments like this make existing moments feel more authentic and connected, while also providing potential for future narrative payoffs in Ahsoka Season 2, when the captain inevitably links back up with Thrawn now that he's on Dathomir. The next moment is Thrawn's prediction-laden speech to Morgan on why he finds her useful while more traditional and corrupt Imperials like Moff Estane did not. This scene expertly showcased how Thrawn thinks and why many fans consider him to be a tactical savant. He knew the Empire better than the Empire and was already predicting its downfall due to the disillusionment of its military thanks to the Empire favoring profits over true order and life. This is a cheap move, but I'm giving a top moment to the full plot of The Path of Hate solely because the whole episode is the perfect prequel to Morgan's initial debut in The Mandalorian, as well as Ahsoka's first live action appearance. Yeah, that's huge, so enough said. Moving on to Barriss, I found the overall use of color in Devoted to be masterful, but the real top moment was seeing Barriss, even after trying to reason with Dante during their duel, pull out the Vader choke to seal her fate as the next Inquisitor. While it didn't feel like she was thrilled to earn the title, seeing the Dark Lord's choke move is always noteworthy. Then of course, how can one not mention Vader's appearance as a top moment? He didn't need to say a thing, but if he did, this episode probably would have taken the top spot because Vader is Star Wars. Up next for the Bears shorts is Lynn's murder fest moment. While dark and disturbing, it was the perfect visual example of how different she was from Barriss and why Barriss would ultimately return to being a Jedi. You know, it was so bad that the animators decided to pan out and just show Lin's saber flashes from a door crack due to how intense the violence and murder of innocence was. In the final top moment from Tales of the Empire would be Barriss toying with Lin to allow for the Force Sensitive to escape, while also bringing Lin back to her senses and possibly on the path of the Jedi again. I just loved how she went all disembodied voice on Lin to showcase how much powerful she had become in peace versus anger. While I still think her death was silly, at least the way it happened, I mean, she could have stood a bit further back as Lin was randomly stabbing the air, but I get it. A point was trying to be made and she made it with her life. Or did she? The ominous ending helps justify this moment as a top one. Thanks for watching. Please consider joining the channel as an official SWTS member. Details below along with other links to our podcasts and socials. There's always time for Star Wars time, and if you listen to the Star Wars time show, the Force will be with you always.